Despite recent promises by Boris Johnson, Huawei is not leaving the UK anytime soon, and the delay is being blamed on Wuhan. Right, over the last couple of years, we've had an armed, a lot of discussions inside uh, the British establishment when it comes to Huawei being involved in the infrastructure of our tech and telecoms. And for those of you, in case uh, the media haven't been talking about it much, which they haven't, Huawei are a dodgy company because they are directly linked to the Chinese Communist Party in Beijing. So even Boris Johnson was pressured uh, to abandon Huawei, because Huawei were going to be building everything in the UK. They gave them all the contracts to be in charge of the infrastructure. And you know what's going to happen? There's a massive threat to national security if you do that. So people like Theresa May and others who gave the green light for Huawei to enter the UK, luckily Downing Street decided to make a U-turn and say, fine, we will remove Huawei. And of course, it will take a few years. And that was always going to happen because big government is slow and bureaucratic. Now, because of Wuhan and the last two years of lockdown and restrictions, they announced a couple of days ago, the government, that the deadline to remove Huawei's parts of the, the major parts of the Huawei from the infrastructure that was supposed to be done uh, very, very soon, is now being pushed back to the end of July 2023 due to difficulties providers have faced during the lockdown days. I understand, I do understand that the lockdown, the disruption that we've had, have caused a lot of delays with everything. So I'm not just going to be like, oh, it's just an excuse. But it is a bit of an excuse, isn't it? Because, <laughs> because it doesn't really matter. Certain industries and certain areas, whether you want to call it in terms of the workers, key workers, essential workers, or the industries where they were protected even during the first lockdown, you would expect it to continue any project that you have. One good example is when it comes to the uh, Crossrail in London. There's uh, the, the new train line that's been supposed to be launching for the past 500 years, I think. It's been delayed and delayed, and then the, the new excuse is lockdown. Well, the problem is now top Tories are being becoming impatient. Ian Duncan Smith and the, the, the group that we have in the, the, the parliamentary party in the House of Commons they have created this movement uh, to fight against the Chinese influence in Britain, they are sending massive warnings to Boris Johnson because, according as uh, it's, uh, Ian Duncan Smith said, the government must now make it very clear that they're not moving the 2027 deadline. So the final deadline for the full withdrawal is 2027. I know, <laughs> another five years to go. But we just like everything that we have. Unfortunately, we're going to have to be the patient ones. Just like the BBC... TV license, the, the, the Royal Charter. Now you're going to have to wait till 2027. Everything's about 2027. <laughs> Three years before the World Economic Forum's deadline. <clears throat> it's a joke. It's a coincidence. But the, the, so Ian Duncan Smith has said that, well, to do, you know, if you actually did decide to delay the full deadline as well, then no one's going to have any respect for any commitment, any pledge, or any promise that we, may, we give as politicians and as political parties. After all, Huawei is now seen clearly as a threat to our security. So any delay increases the threat. So it's not just the political side of it. It's not just what I said at the beginning of the video about politicians giving empty promises and, you know, of course, life changes, disruptions will happen and then they're going to have to make U-turns or delay or postpone. It's not just a political argument for the sake of democracy and people getting angry. There is a point about the national security. And the longer Huawei stays the bigger threat that they are going to be becoming in terms of our safety, our na nation's safety. Who thought this would be a good idea in the first place? Who thought that sending David Cameron, George Osborne, and Boris Johnson, and many others to Beijing a few years ago during the coalition years to go to China to bow down, you know, to say, ah, oh, we love you, China. We're going to be best friends. Let's sign trade deals at the same time when Donald Trump, who wasn't even president at the time, he was just a businessman, he was shouting about it. He was saying, don't. This is a bad idea. And the whole of the establishment made fun of him, saying Trump is the crazy one. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't understand politics or trade. Well, you're not laughing now, are you? Because Trump was right and the establishment were wrong. So hopefully, 
the, the, the calls from the top tourists will put more pressure on Boris Johnson and Downing Street to do this because it's not just like the whole Brexit talks that we, that we talked about earlier in another video. It won't be cake or suitcase of booze that will bring down Boris. It will be the actual fundamental problems with this government. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya and we are the media.